What is going on everybody and welcome to part 6 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we are going to be going over how to register NPC and player deaths. So it's going to be a short one today, we're just going to get these functions set up and make sure that they're actually firing and that'll probably be it. So we're going to be doing it all on server side, so we want to be working in the init.lua file, so get that file open and once that is open we are ready to go. So first thing we want to do is we want to create a function here that will check if an NPC is killed. And the reason I'm checking for an NPC death is because that's the only way I'm going to be able to test this since I have no one else to test this with. Therefore, I can't test if another player dies. I'll still be doing both just to uh, show you how it's done, but we'll mainly be using the NPC one, at least in this series. But anyways, let's create our function here. Again, in Lua, a function starts with the function statement like so, followed by the function name, and in this case, it is gm colon on npc killed like so. And this is going to take in three arguments. We've got the npc, an attacker, oops, spelled that wrong, there we go, and then a uh, inflictor like so. And then we're going to end this off with the end statement. And to explain what all of these arguments do, the NPC is just the NPC that's being killed, the attacker is the person that's inflicting the damage, and the inflictor is the one that ends up killing the NPC. We can do the same exact thing for the uh, player death one. Again, we just want a function. So start it with the function statement, followed by gm colon player death. And this is going to take in three arguments as well. First one being the victim, which is the player that dies. Then the inflictor, which is the person that ends up killing the player. And then the attacker, which is the person that does the damage to the player. Then we're going to end this one. First thing, I want to just add a few comments here. To make a comment in Lua, it's just two dashes like so. Followed by whatever else you want. And all that has to be on that single line. So I'm just going to write down what we're going to be doing with this function. So when an NPC is killed, I'm going to add money, another comment, add EXP, and check for level up. And if the EXP is equal to the max amount of EXP for that level, we'll level up the player, reset the XP back to zero, and do whatever else we need to do. Now to make sure that this function's actually working, I'm going to add one to the person that ends up killing the NPC's armor. So inflictor because that is the person that's going to kill the NPC and set armor opening closing parentheses and inside of this we want to do inflictor again colon armor this will return the current amount of armor they have and then we'll just add one to it so again this is going to set the armor equal to the inflictors <coughs> excuse me the inflictors current armor and then add one to that so if we go into game now test this out Let's just spawn in an NPC. I'll spawn this guy in. We take him down, and as you can see, our armor went from 0 to 1. And if I do it again, our armor will go from 1 to 2. And just so I remember, I'm going to add these two comments down here as well. So add money and add EXP and check for level up. And right there, that will conclude this very short part of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time.